Hello, my name is Rachel, and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. I am a reader and a writer, and welcome to my channel. So today, I am going to be going over my extremely ambitious TBR for the month of May. And I didn't realize quite how ambitious until I had all the books pulled out, and I was looking at them. But hey, it's okay. I graduated. You know, I don't have to worry about school. And my health department has changed how they're doing the COVID vaccine clinics. So, so that's not going to be as draining. So I have more time to read. So anyway, let's get started. I have three books that I started in the month of April and just hadn't finished that I'm actively reading. And the first one of those is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This is a YA fantasy. And I'm reading this mostly because I got the sequel as a Goodreads giveaway. And I'm like, if I have the sequel, I have to read the first one <laughs> to make sure I like this. So I'm about halfway through this currently. And there's things I like about it, and there's things I don't. But I'm still working on it, so it's not something that it, I don't like. I don't dislike it enough to DNF it. But some some days, I only want to read a little bit of it. So this book follows Amora, who is the princess of Visidia. And in this world. All, there's a group of islands that make up this kingdom, and each island has a magic that is special or particular to each island. And Amora's island is soul magic, which is only practiced by her family. And as part of the ritual in order to gain the throne, she has to perform her magic in front of her subjects, and it goes terribly wrong. And so now she is on an adventure to prove that she should be the next queen. And I am enjoying this book. I can tell it is a debut YA. And so while I'm really enjoying this, I'm even more especially looking forward to getting to the sequel because writers get better. That's just how things go. And there are character quirks for the ones that are in here that I really enjoy. I will talk more about this in my May wrap up when I finish it. So then after that, I will want to read All the Tides and Fate by Adeline Grace. And all I know is it's the sequel, hopefully following more of a more. I am also actively reading Upright Women Wanted. I was interested in this because they said the main characters were librarians. And it looks, sounds like since I've started it, I'm only a little bit through. I'm only a couple chapters into it. But they are librarians in a post-apocalyptic United States because they talked about cars being a thing in the past. I'm not quite sure what I think so far. We'll find out. Since this is a novella, I probably will have this done pretty quickly. And then I just started last night victories greater than death because I got this recently from my library and this was supposed to be my April 2021 new release read but it didn't come to me until later in the month so finally just not getting it and I read maybe a tenth of it and so far I'm really enjoying it this is a YA space opera and or why well yeah I'm gonna say it's a space opera because we've already gone up into space and are heading off to adventure and I really enjoy this. And this is so far following Tina, who is a clone of a famous general who died. And she is kind of like, it's, it seems to be like the chosen one trope. So once I finish those three that I'm actively reading, I plan to pick up Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells, also just came in from my library. And it's another novella, so I am looking forward to reading more about Murderbot. Now these next two books have somebody waiting for them so I don't know if I'll actually finish them in May but I would like to at least start them because then I have an idea because if I gel with the book it means I'm going to make sure to request it again or request it sooner and 
that the first one of those is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This seems to be a booktube darling, so I don't think I need to go into too much details. It's following Yadriel, who wants to prove that he is a brujo. And then the next one is The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. I have also heard some people talk about this, not as much on booktube, but it is a fantasy novel and I am interested. After that, I would like to pick up Legendborn, and I have heard great things about this one, and while I'm not a huge fan of the Arthurian legend, I tend to like books that play off of it, and so I am excited to read this. The next I have A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. This is book two in the Wayfarers Quartet. They're not strict sequels, they're companion novels. And I finished The Long Journey to a Small Angry Planet, I think in December, December or January. I've been wanting to pick up the rest of this series. And then, and I also won, for a Goodreads giveaway, the fourth one. So I really want to read two and three first, even though I know I don't have to. I still would like to. So I'd like to get to this so then I can get the third one from the library. And I'm thinking this one will probably end up in my June TBR. And then, as always, I am continuing to read The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. And I am slowly making my way through this book. Now, the rest of these books are just, oh, it would be cool to get them. And one of the reasons why my TBR is so big is because all, like, the Nebula and the Hugo Award nominations came out, and so I want to read those books. Because I want to see what I think of them before the awards are announced. So it's always in April and May, I get a lot of books out from the library. And my goal is always to at least request them and as I'm waiting for things to come in. And then they all come in at once. I know you library users understand how that works. So these other books, um, I they're not on my active, like, I'm definitely going to get to them, but they're, if I can, yeah, I will. So the next one I have is The Consuming Fire by John Scalzi. This is number two in his Collapsing Empire series. I think that's what it's called. I know the first book was The Collapsing Empire and I really enjoyed it. So I am interested in to continue that series. So then the next one I have is Harrow the Ninth. I read Gideon the Ninth last summer and really enjoyed it. And I've already been warned and watched some reviews, so I know that the voice and tone of this one is different, which just makes sense because we're going to be in somebody else's head, Harrow's head. And so I think I am ready to pick this up and read it now. I have not continued anything from The Hazelwood. I mentioned that I had started it in my last TBR but I have not continued it yet, and I would like to continue and finish this. Then I have A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I really enjoyed her Uprooted. I haven't finished Spinning Silver yet, but like I've sampled her works, and I've enjoyed most everything that I have picked up. I have heard some pros and cons of this, and so I'm curious to see what I'm going to think. I then picked up uh, The Vanished Birds by Simon Jimenez, and I don't know what this is about. Like I said, it was just, it's on the award winner, or I think actually in this case, I think the author was somebody who was on the award winner, or um, for the Astounding Award, maybe. I'm really bad. I don't know. And I don't know if I'm even gonna like put a correction up for what this is about, but this is on my wish list. Then I picked up Axion's End by Lindsay Ellis. I know that this is a science fiction book involving a first contact. Then I have picked up The Ruin of Kings. I know it's a long fantasy novel. Um, I know that Katie over at Brightness Katie Reads has really enjoyed this and I am interested in giving it a shot. And then I have some comics, which I hope that I could get done in May as well. 
I have uh, volume number two of The Invisible Kingdom. I read the first one in April, so that will be my April wrap-up. And then I have the first two volumes for Ghost Spider. And I have volumes three, four, and five of Monstrous. I really enjoyed the first two, and I think it's probably time for me to catch up. I don't read a lot of comics or a lot of manga typically, but when I do, I tend to like read it all at once. I like to binge my comics, just like I like to binge my TV shows. Yes, I did say that. For all of those of you who don't like to binge, or you don't like people who binge, sorry. I'm not to the extreme of this. I do have friends who won't read book series until, until it's finished. I, I'll read book series that are in progress or still being currently written. So I'm not too extreme about binging. I just like to binge my comics and my TV shows. And then I picked up The Empress of Salt and Fortune. This is a short novella which caught my interest last year, but I hadn't had the chance to read it, so I'm hoping to get to it soon. I have Fina. Again, I don't know much about this, but it was an award nomination, so I'm curious in reading it. I have Silver in the Wood. I am st still working on Come Tumbling Down. I have not... Same thing with the Hazelwood. I have not progressed in this at all. But I hope to. <laughs> I then have a game of Fox and Squirrels. And I picked up a Lotso, which I know many people have been really praising. And so I am very much interested. I especially like reading books by Native American authors because I like giving those that information to my husband. He is from the Kiowa tribe. And something that we've talked about is him growing up. He didn't get to read a lot of Native American writers, at least not who were writing fantasy or science fiction. So it's fun to be able to say, hey, here's an author for you. And then I am also still working on Pandora's Star. I had to return it to the library because I had had it out too long and I just recently got it back. It's something I'm working on for some space opera reads or for a space opera reads video. And then I read in February and March a series by Rachel Bach. Well, her other pen name is Rachel Aaron, where she writes fantasy, and so I got these two books. The first one is Nice Dragons Finish Last and Minimum Wage Magic, and I'm interested in reading both of these. I, I read her first book, The Secret of Eli Monpress, I think it is, and I really enjoyed it. So I like her writing style, and she impressed me enough with her Paradox series that I wanted to read more of her writing. And then for the last book that I have on my TBR, this is something that one of my very dear friends recommended to me, and so I don't know anything beyond it except it's fantasy, and he always gives me good fantasy recommendations. And that is a carne? I'm going to go with a carne because I don't know how to say it otherwise. That has been my may tbr my very ambitious may tbr if you have read any of these books and really want me to get to them faster please leave me a comment down below otherwise have a great day thank you